Hello YouTube, Matt again here. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you've all been out in the garden centres as usual, picking up your favourite plants. So I'm here, back in fryers. Gone to finally get me coleus for the year. I don't grow it from seed, too little fiddly for me. I just buy it in usually two forms, either get the little plug plants here, or I just go for the larger ones, which I'm gonna buy today because I'm just gonna propagate it to death, which I'm gonna show you all about. My favourite one is the this one. I just love the colours on it. I just like the vibrant greens and the, the reds. Back home again now. Next door neighbours decided to get himself a little flying Nemo on a fishing line. I think it's quite funny actually. I'll go along with that one. Warmed up a little bit now. There they are back home. Let's look at the colours on them. Seems a shame what I'm actually going to do to them. The one I personally like to grow all over my garden is the Ruby Road. I've grown this one for many years now. I've had all different types of coleus, but this one's specifically my favourite, and I like dotting this one all around my garden. It just brings out all the, the greens and all the other different colours. It just makes the garden pop, which you'll see from these uh, different things, like the cannas, the bananas, the hostas. I just think it looks really good. All we need is uh, a couple of glasses of uh, clean water, nice clean pair of sterilised scissors, and that's it, we're good to go. All the rest of it is knowing what we need to do. All we got to do is just find a good healthy stem. We need to cut down about an inch and a half, two inches, which is down to a node where my fingers are now. And we just got to cut it out where the new growth is just coming out. Really, really simple. If I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm going to get plenty of cuttings from this, which is great. So that means I'm going to get loads of free plants, which then I can get dotted all around my garden. Here we are, little example of a little cutting. See how much you just need on top? Don't need much. That's it. Cut all the bottoms off, all the little side shoots. So it's just a stem and a couple of leaves on top. Try not to uh, submerge them in too much water. And then that's it. Gonna do a bit of a throwback now to the Karate Kid. Bit of Mr Miyagi legend. Wonder where I got all my garden and stuff from. Bit of patience. Just the trust of the Is that right one? If come from inside of you, always right on. That's why I put Mr. Miyagi on. Can't really go wrong. It's only a bit of the design, trying to get a bit of airflow inside the plant itself. You just keep cutting it away until you think that's right. You can't really do much harm to the coleus unless you cut it too far back. These are all the cuttings just off the one coleus. So I'll get the other two done now and then see what they look like in a sec. All done, didn't take too long. Absolutely brilliant plant. Great doer, great filler plant for your garden. If you've got little pockets you want filling, as of that lovely vibrant colour, dirt cheap, proper get the hell out of him, get loads of free plants, can't go wrong. All you have to do now, have a little bit of patience, the cutting should uh, start to grow some new roots from the bottom in a week or two. Once it starts showing some roots, simply just put them in a bit of compost, leave them outside, let them start growing away, and you're good to go. Three new plants, happy days. Don't forget, Please like and subscribe. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.